All great teams have at least one great player. The defending state champion Beecher Bucks are no exception. They've made it to the final four three straight years and are currently riding a 37 game winning streak thanks to a player who could go down as one of the all time greats from Flint. The two time Class C player of the year, Monte Morris. Most basketball players dream about making it to the NBA, but for Monte Morris, his dream was putting on the red and white and taking the floor inside the most lacy field house at Beecher. I would just, just come watch them put on the show back in 03, 04. When me and my mom was at my house. She used to always get on me because I'd come home from their game to go play on the little rim I put up on my wall and say the national anthem and then call them out and play just like them. So I was I was very excited, you know, to know I was coming to Beecher my freshman year and you know getting a chance to start a legacy like they did. But Monte's legacy started long before his freshman year. In almost Anakin Skywalker-esque fashion, word on the street was a young boy named Man Man was going to bring Beecher back to prominence. I knew when he was in the fourth grade that he would be a, a very good basketball player because he just had some things that you couldn't teach. You know that it's God given. One of the things that I remember playing him one-on-one -on -one when he was in the fourth grade is I couldn't take the ball from him unless I knocked him down. And no team has been able to knock him down since. Monte took over an 0-5 squad as a freshman and led them all the way to the Breslin. They've been back every year. We just came out established who is the best. We practiced hard all week and coach been on us. So we knew if we lost, we was going home. So you know, we just came out, played hard and finished. And Man Man now finishes his career as arguably the best player in the state. And without question, one of the top point guards in the entire country. He's up top at the top, you know. So yeah, one of the best in the area I played in in the country, you know. He's somebody that, you know, He's only going to come along once every 10 to 20 years. The way he understands the game, you know, he, he's kind of a prodigy. He makes it look somewhat effortless. It, it's kind of like he's playing chess and he's two or three moves ahead of everybody else. question he's one of the best players to ever come out of Flint. Um, I, I, I put him up there with all the greats um, because he's proven it. And in June Man Man joined the greats earning a high major division one scholarship to play for Fred Hoiberg at Iowa State. I was calling you to let you know if you ain't heard that I'm gonna be a cyclone. <laughs> together uh, for him to play at a major division one college. So for me, it was just like to watch a dream come true. Really pay attention to what's going on because it can be all of you, not just him. Um, we are capable, you can do it. All you gotta do is make your mind up, work hard, and you too can pick the school that you wanna go to. It doesn't necessarily have to be about athletics. He represents hope and, and hope is something that, that helps everybody wake up and look forward to the next day. And some of these kids can take note and they got special abilities and special talents. A lot of people look up to him. You feel me? I'm proud of him, you know. Like, I look up to him. I hope I'll be there someday. Coach Mike pushed me, like, Mateen used to do this and all that. I want the, you know, the coaches talking to them young guys, like, you know, Monte used to do that. So that's my motivation. So I, I really want to leave a good legacy here. I look forward to him growing and, and seeing him develop develop into a mature man and seeing what he accomplishes with his life because there's some great things ahead for him.